Hi, my name is Jason DeKoff and I'm an associate professor at Tennessee State University. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the different indicators that can be used for measuring soil health. We're going to demonstrate the, how to measure soil infiltration. So when we're measuring the soil infiltration rate, we're going to need a few different items. Uh, the first thing is going to be our soil infiltration ring. So our ring here is a metal ring and it's got a diameter of about six inches and it's about five inches tall. And then we're also gonna need some plastic wrap and then a sledgehammer. I believe this one is a, a four pound sledge. And then we're also going to use a, a wooden block and we're also gonna need some kind of a, a stopwatch. Most phones have a, have a stopwatch feature on them. And then we're also gonna need some water uh, measured out to uh, a specific amount. In this case, we're using 444 milliliters. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to find a good spot to take our measurement. So you can uh, compare different management systems using the infiltration rate. You can also, within the same field, uh, you can take a number of different measurements to try to get an average for that field. Uh, in our case, we're gonna, we're gonna demonstrate it here. This is just kind of a, a, a very basic uh, sort of pasture plot. Uh, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, your soil infiltration ring, and once you've found a good spot, you're going to place it there and remove any sort of uh, organic debris that might be there. You can clip some of the, some of the grass that's there and then you can also remove any sort of uh, organic layer that's there. Uh, a lot of times, especially if you're dealing with, with grass, you're gonna have a, a thatch layer on the, on the ground. And so basically what you wanna do is you wanna clear that out of the way until you get uh, mostly some, uh, some bare soil on the ground. What you can see is bare soil. And uh, so basically this is what I'm, I'm gonna do until I get get there and then um, also it's important to remember try not to disturb the soil itself too much uh, that can be kind of difficult when you're when you're trying to pull some of the organic matter away um, but uh, just try to do it as, as gently as possible so here we've got uh, you can see a lot of bare soil now poking through and so this is going to be uh, the surface that we're working with and once we've got that, we're gonna take the wooden block and we're gonna place it on top of the infiltration ring. And we're gonna take our sledgehammer and we're going to uh, pound this into the soil uh, about uh, one to two inches. So obviously that sledgehammer really helps in, in getting the, the, the ring into the soil. Uh, basically, uh, what we do next is we've got this slit now that's in here that's formed by the infiltration ring. And we kind of want to just gently push that soil back against the ring because uh, we're going to put water in this ring. And if the water runs right down that slit, we're not going to get a really good accurate measurement. So once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to take our plastic wrap. And we're going to put some plastic wrap on the inside of the ring. Just like so. And so what we want to do is we want to cover the bottom, uh, the soil at the bottom. And then we also want the plastic to, to kind of come up the sides. Uh, and the reason for that is because we want it to hold an inch uh, of water. Okay, that looks ready. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our, our water that we've already pre-measured out. So why we're using 444 milliliters, uh, this is the amount of water that will provide us with an inch depth for uh, a ring that has a, a diameter of six inches. So we're gonna slowly take that and add it to the plastic wrap. And we want to be careful that we've got enough, enough plastic wrap there so that it'll hold that inch worth of water.
Okay, so once we've got that water in there, what we wanna do is we wanna take our timer. So as soon as we remove the plastic wrap and allow the water uh, to, to uh, get into the soil, we're gonna to wanna to start that timer. So we're gonna do that. And then basically now what we're doing is we're going to wait to see how long that, uh, that water, that inch of water takes to, to get all the way into the soil. And so uh, this could take, uh, depending upon the soil that you're working with, obviously this could take a, you know, a, an hour or it could take a half an hour or it could take 10 minutes, it all depends. Um, so uh, sometimes, um, you know, if it takes a long time, that could mean that your soil uh, has some issues with infiltration and it could be due to things like tillage that have taken place but it can also be due to uh, any sort of a, a clay layer so it's important to to dig down into the soil to see what's down in there uh, or to to know what's down in there ahead of time uh, that'll give you a good idea as to as to what's going on and why maybe um, your infiltration rate is is high or low uh, but generally if you have an infiltration rate that's that's less than an inch um, you know, that's going to cause problems for uh, erosion, especially if you have a, a, a very intense rainfall event. All right, so that's a demonstration of how to measure infiltration rate out in the field. Check out some of our other videos that we have on this YouTube channel to see some other indicators that you can measure on a farmer's field, and that'll help uh, tell you some more information about the soil health of that area. Thanks.